Yes, we are the Hives. I'm Chris. This is Matt. Yes. It's a pretty good festival. I'm just, uh, I'm a bit pissed off. I missed uh, Depeche Mode yesterday. I'll see them later, but you know, no, no, no. It's, uh, it's a great festival. I mean, we're here. How bad can it be? Yeah. Not at all. It's, uh, it's going to be a good night. I love it. I love it a lot. Like, uh, we were talking Ben and Kasim and, you know, all these great festivals and, and all the great crowds, you know. I think this is the first time we play this festival, but I mean, just look at the place, you know. I, I know I it's... Yeah, you just want to be slow for this, drinking wine and eating cheese. It's kind of too cozy almost. Yeah, no, 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 no. We came, we came in uh, late afternoon yesterday. But uh, we had a day off, so uh, and we really needed to charge our batteries for tonight. So I went on a bike ride up into the mountains, and some of the guys went to the beach, and it was just we had to stay away from music for um, for at least a few hours, you know. Yeah, some of the guys were, yeah, like two crew members and two of the band, I think. You know, there's we always get that question, and I, to be honest with you, I love both. I mean, a festival is a great place to, to, to go if you want to hang out and look at bands and just have a, a hell of a good time. We did it as kids, you know, and... But as far as the shows go, uh, you always get a set amount of time that you're allowed to play. You can never really fool around with that as much as you like. When we play our own shows, it's very sort of to the point and we get to do whatever we want with the night, you know, so it's, it's very different in that sense. But I mean, to play the, what is it today, 35,000? I mean, it's a special feeling too, but uh, but I, if I had to choose, uh, I would uh, uh, take both. I like being inside in big venues, prefer than a festival. I think, uh, um, but as as far as the uh, area surrounded, like being a festival, it's more about a bigger thing, a whole day. Something we go to see, just see it, my favorite one band. I'd rather do it inside in a big venue somewhere. Yeah. I think so too, maybe. Maybe. I think Green Day might be bigger. <laughs> you know, oh, they're friends of ours. We, we, we like them a lot. So, uh, and I mean, I think we should play before them. So, it's a good, it's a, it, it's a great slot for us, you know, when we get to play to all, all these people in... Uh, it doesn't really matter if you play 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock, you know, it's still going to be a fucking good show. I hope it gets dark, though. We love to play when it's dark. I don't know if it's going to be dark. Ah, it'll be good anyway. No, I mean, when we did the Black and White album, which you were talking about as more of an experimental album, we had... We came, we came from doing three records this, the same way, you know, we recorded them pretty much the same way with Pelle Gunnefeld. And we just felt like it was time to do something really new, you know. We always thought that, I mean, going from uh, from Barely Legal to Veni Vidi Vicious to, to, to Ronosaurus Hives were great steps, you know. They, they don't sound uh, the same at all to me. But we really felt that we wanted to work in a different way. And we recorded in somewhat, I don't know how many countries with all these producers, you know, in the black and white ones. So when we were talking about what we wanted to do with Lex Hives, we just said that we should produce it ourselves because we had learned so much over the years how to, of what we liked and how we wanted things to be and, and, and so on. So it was, it was just something that we wanted to do. We wanted to make an album that was pretty much recorded live, produced by us, uh, every decision, you know, that you can hear and see on the album is from us. So it was, just felt like the right thing to do, you know, and I don't know what's gonna happen next. You know, we, we might work with a producer, we might choose to do it ourselves again, we might work in 48, I, I don't know, you know, it, time will tell, but, but it's just, we always try to, we don't want to copy something that we've done before, it's just we want to make new records, new music, uh, and, uh, but still, you know, as the hypes, as the five people that we've always been. There are even greater names producing like Sives, it's us. But now, the uh, thing was, we were going to LA to mix the record, and we had some overdubs to do. And uh, we just called Josh and asked if we could use Pink Duck to record some, some stuff that needed to be recorded while mixing. 
Uh, and when we were there, we, you know, he's a great friend of ours, so we were just sitting down talking that maybe we should do some more stuff while we were here, you know. Uh, but we, at the time, we were really sick of producing, so we just said, uh, we just said to Josh, hey, you can call the shots, just tell us what the fuck to do and we'll do it, you know. And we have these two great cover songs that we like a lot that, I mean, I produced one of the originals and uh, the other one is uh, Vigilante, he's, uh, he plays guitar in another band that recorded that song. So we had these two songs that we felt very closely to and um, uh, that's pretty much what happened, you know, we just told Josh to produce it and you know, tell us when to be here and tell us when to play and, and we just do it and we'll see what happens. Because we had been talking about it for a long time. We've been friends for a long time and, and we had been talking about recording in his studio with him for years, you know. And we were there, everything fell into place basically. Uh, like I said, we don't know yet. We haven't thought about it. I mean, he's a great guy and I don't know if he, I don't, yeah, I don't know if he has the time. I don't know if everything will fall into place. I mean, there's there's a lot of people we want to work with, so. David Bowen would be cool. Yeah, so. for example. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> you know. It'll be uh, songs from uh, pretty much all of our career, you know. We're, we we have, uh, like we were talking about festivals and club gigs earlier. Tonight we have, I think, it's a, a limit of 55 minutes where we're allowed to play. So we can't play every song that we've written, you know, but um, we'll try to put together a, a list that, that I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed with. That's what we're trying to do. Hello, people. I'm Chris. This is Matt. We are the Hides. You're uh, watching BFM. Tick, tick.